Big story, cat hoarding results in the death of many animals across the country because of starvation and hygiene. Well, here's another case, and this time it's in Louisville. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Pope shows us just how many cats are involved. It's a story you'll only see on three. There were about 90 cats here, and most of them need, needed to be euthanized. They were so sick and dead and dying cats around. Andy Elliott with the Humane Society took graphic pictures of dead cats, sick and dying cats, injured cats, and a rather dirty home. Picked up a crate, and there was a dead cat in there. Andy got permission from the family to remove many of the cats from Wendy Barnes' home last night in Louisville. Wendy has since been taken to the hospital for evaluation. It's appalling. And then when you go in there and actually see them and you pick up kittens and all that are dying in your hands and all, it's, it's hard to sleep. What's even worse is a different family member, Lisa Barnes, called the cops this morning claiming trespassing when the Humane Society returned. The rest of the cats were not cared for when I left the scene. The neighbors, I think, have a tendency to be quiet about something like this, but when a situation goes on like this, not only do the animals need help, but the person needs help. Help the Humane Society was willing to give, but this Jefferson County police officer told both me and Andy that if we returned, we'd be arrested for trespassing. Well, this lady said she was taken to the veterinarian, um, and we agreed to meet back here again today and start working on the rest of them. Uh, you know, there's no one here now to take care of the cats, to feed and water them, and so many still are sick. They need either to be euthanized or they need big-time medical care, and it's going to be expensive. Neither Andy or I stepped foot on the Barnes property today. We just watched helplessly from the road, unable to do anything more for the cats. Taking action for you in Louisville, I'm Stephen Pope, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. No charges have been filed against the homeowner, Wendy Barnes. If you know about a case of animal horning, you can contact the police department or you can also contact the Eyewitness News tip line at 523-8984.